So in this video, we're going to start turning Vim into a kind of IDE. Uh, and it's very customizable, it's very nice, it takes a little to getting used to, but it actually makes a lot of sense and you can do a lot of your work just with simple shortcuts. Uh, so we're going to be using HTML in this video just because I, I think most people sort of know how HTML works, and if you don't, it's easy enough to figure out. Uh, so in HTML, if we want like some kind of header, uh, we have to type uh, different tags, so here is, you know, here's our header and we put it in the h1 tags if we want the biggest possible header. Um, now, if we want Vim to work well and you know we want everything to be nice and easy, we don't wanna have to actually write all this stuff out. Or for example, we don't have, wanna have to you know, write our paragraph tags out all the time. We want Vim to do that stuff automatically or more or less automatically. Um, and of course, there's other stuff you might wanna automate. So let's say you have text and you want something bold inside. Well, you have to make a bold tag, you know, this is bold text, then you have to close it, and it's just a pain going over there to the, uh, you know, the little bracket key or whatever. So we can do this all automatically uh, in Vim. So what I've done, for example, is it, whenever I want a, a large heading, I just press semicolon and then one. Actually, let me turn on screen key for you. Um, so I press semicolon and one, and what you see is, what you see is that Vim has already written out the tags, so I can write in my heading right here, so header. Uh, and then when I'm done writing it, what I can do is I press space, space. And then that goes to this little guide that I've created. So uh, let's say I have, I can actually make a bunch of these things. Um, so these are basically jump points in your document. Uh, and my shortcuts will automatically create them. And whenever I press space and space, it just goes to the next one and puts me in insert mode and I can do whatever I want. Now I have similar shortcuts for other syntax. So for example, if I want a paragraph, I just type, uh, you know, um, semicolon and then P. And now it's made a paragraph tag for me and I can immediately start writing or I can press semicolon and B and that gives me bold text. Uh, and again, I can just press the space space key to, you know, sort of cycle through everything. So let's go through showing you how to actually write this. Now, this is not the complete VimRC I was using. This is sort of what we're gonna create. Um, uh, of course, more than this. Um, so let me show you, in order to even start out, you have to have the file type plugin and the syntax, uh, syntax on, and I think you need this no compatible thing as well. Um, let me turn off the screen key because it's getting a little intrusive. Um, yeah, so basically, how you make uh, mappings in Vim is pretty simple. So here's a mapping right here. Now you use the command I know remap. This means in insert mode, uh, remap these keys. And this says uh, remap space space. So whenever I press space two times, it does the following. Uh, specifically, you press escape. Let's actually open up a sample document. Um, so let's say, for example, in this document, I have this little guide here. Um, and if I press space space, what it literally does, all of these mappings are just literal, uh, you know, uh, key mappings. Um, so first it presses escape, so I'm in normal mode. Then it presses the little slash, that of course is search. Then it types in uh, bracket plus plus bracket. Then it press, presses enter. Now I'll, you'll see I'm right at this, uh, you know, this guide here. And then what it does here is basically delete it and uh, put me in insert mode. Specifically, in case you guys don't know what this is, but this means delete it and put it in this empty buffer here. That way uh, it won't, uh, when you try and paste something later, it won't paste out this, it'll just get rid of it. Uh, so it's quotation mark, underscore, and then C for change, four for four units to the right, and then L for, you know, well, actually moving to the right. So basically all that does is finds one of these and then deletes it and puts you in insert mode. So that's how I navigate the document. Now, why is that important? Uh, that's important because all of the little shortcuts we'll make will sort of utilize these to move around, okay? Uh, so what I mean by this, I've already made a mapping here and that is uh, semicolon I. I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. It just puts uh, emphatic tags around uh, your cursor, so you can type, you know, emphasis. And when you're done making those italics or whatever, you just press space, space, and it goes to the next little guide. Okay, so literally what this does uh, is the following. Uh, well, well, I should say, this is different from a general remap command. So this I know remap, it's going to uh, occur in any kind of document we open with Vim. So HTML, uh, tech file, uh, you know, some Python script, a bash script, whatever, anything you open, it's gonna remap here. 
But here I've specified this to only work in HTML because this is only an HTML, uh, you know, syntax um, thing. So we use the auto command uh, command, which says, okay, when the file type is HTML, then I'll remap uh, semicolon I to whatever. That's all this is saying. So what it literally does, we can just sort of go through it, is it types the emphatic tags. We're just looking right here. Um, so then it presses space. Then it puts in the little guide. Uh, then it presses escape. Uh, and then afterwards, so capital F, that means look for backwards. So capital F, then E, will actually move to the, uh, the most uh, closest E to the left. And then capital T, and then uh, this open bracket means go to, it's sort of like F, but it doesn't go towards it, it just goes to it. So now we're here, um, and then I puts us in insert mode. So, you know, this is emphatic text, great. Uh, and then when we're done with that, of course, you can press space space to get out. All right, so let's make another one of those for bold text. Uh, so let's say auto command, file type, um, HTML. So I know remap and then semicolon B. Uh, so what we're gonna wanna do here is let's open our bold tag and close our bold tag. Then we'll put a space. Remember not to actually space, remember to put the you know, uh, space in brackets. Uh, put our little guide here, then we'll have escape. And then, of course, we're, uh, you know, what we're just doing is we have made, uh, let's see, this. So now we press escape, and now we're in normal mode, and we want to get back here between these tags. Uh, so what we can do is say, um, let's say, find B, and then the same thing we said before, capital T, and then the bracket, and then I. So we'll just say find B, capital T, uh, bracket I, right? So if we reload, let's reload this. Um, that should work if we press, yeah, semicolon B, and there it is. Perfect. Uh, and of course, we can make other things. Let's make a paragraph tag, for example. So auto command file type uh, HTML. That way it doesn't, you know. Uh, so I know remap. And let's say semicolon P is make a paragraph tag and give me the spacing. And let's say what I want is I want it to make, um, oops, let's say I want it to make a paragraph tag, and then we want it to space down so it gives us a new line, and then it puts us a guide here. Okay, so we'll do a paragraph tag, and then enter, enter to space down, and then we'll put in a guide here, then we'll do escape, get into normal mode. Then we'll go up by two, so that's 2K. So 2K, oh, press J accidentally. Uh, now to make sure, uh, let's say, let's see, where are we? I guess we could just, um, now you wanna be careful. Now I happen to end up right where I wanna be. I could just press I, but you might wanna use a find command to find the right, uh, the exact right position. But I think in our situation, we'll just use I. Um, now, it'll get a little wonky, let's say, if you have some other text here, um, but, uh, you know, for our purposes, it's pretty simple. So we'll just see. Okay, yeah, that works exactly how uh, we want it to. Um, so now we have paragraph commands, uh, commands for bolding and italics, and you should be getting a sense of what you have to do to make individual file type commands. Um, so now we've made these for insert mode, but you can also make general commands for, for example, you can use uh, in no remap for normal mode commands. Uh, but this should give you an example of you know, sort of a starting board for what the kind of stuff you can do in Vim to make your own IDE more or less uh, with really simple commands like semicolon B, whatever. Uh, or of course, I choose to use semicolons. You can really use any key combination. Uh, I just use semicolons because you don't often press semicolon P, so it's no problem remapping this. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to put in the video description my own uh, VimRC with all my commands. And of course, I encourage you to make your own because your, the way you write the syntax of whatever document might be uh, a little different. Uh, so anyway, go ahead and play all around with that. Hope you learned something. So see you around.